Hello everyone. You'll be wondering who I'm laughing. You know, I'm laughing because I'm yet to be slapped, okay? <laughs> but sometimes you wonder, is this still going viral? Is somebody doing something that's catching up on everybody all over the world? I'm talking about the famous Bianca slap that generated from our own country, Nigeria. Oh yeah. And before you know it, everybody's slapping everybody, <laughs> okay? <laughs> now, the latest one, I'm sure, in case you missed it, was in the Oscar Awards. And seriously though, it comes to the issue that we're gonna be talking about. This is a worldwide event that was just held recently in America where they appreciate uh, actors and the likes, directors and all of that. The grandest of them all, the Oscars. And one of my favorite actors, I would say, arguably, Will Smith went on top of the stage and slapped the taste out of the other guy's mouth, the actor himself, that was the MC you know and that's a uh, rock i'm like i've never seen this kind before were they acting is it real this is something that every, the whole world is watching and this dude went on stage and slapped chris rock and he went back to his seat and said don't talk about my wife or whatever don't put my wife here or whatever okay why are black people so emotional i'm not saying there's anything wrong with being emotional but at the same time though what happened to the controlling part you know, these people are supposed to be friends. Now, I remember way back when Will Smith was much younger, he was a rapper then, that he boycotted uh, a major event. I think, I can't remember if, I think it was an award event, I can't remember precisely which, and he refused to be part of that event. Why? Because he said black people were not recognized the way they should and all of that. Now, Oscars, he's much older, of course, and everything. He now went on top of the stage and did whatever. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. So it comes down to what we're going to be talking about, black on black. Now, this is the first time you've seen, and I know comedians, yes, I agree, they, they could make a joke out of anything. And in this case, I think he, Chris Rock joked about Will Smith's wife, you know, and uh, Will couldn't take it. He went on and, <laughs> yeah, slapped him on stage, okay? Now, whether he's right or wrong, but that's not the issue here. The issue here is, why is it that when it comes to black on black, the emotions that we put onto any, anything at all is sometimes beyond the ordinary and not in a positive way. I mean, if you look at history, you will see that black on black issues, 80% of the issues, you don't need to react violently. Really, you don't have to, okay? And it's always between two black people. Like I said, whatever was uh, cost it can be resolved without violence for the most part. If you just respect, control, and listen to one another, which we don't do. And you just be made a laughing stock. Nobody can trust you in anything. Nobody can have a good discussion with you without you being emotional, going, putting so much emotions on it and you know, going violent. In America, there has been so much black on black killings enmity even in the rap game you know about the biggie and the tupac i have no so many like that that we don't even hear of. they kill each other for nothing it's incredible we don't trust each other we don't like each other really if because if you really do and i don't come and tell me oh the indians do it it's not easy or some some other minority group they, they they do so well they cooperate and everything it's not rocket science folks we can actually do it ourselves if you want to it really pits me because if you look around the world Check it out. All around where you have black population or a black country, they are stagnant in terms of development and every other thing. They are not improving in any way. They are more or less eating up themselves, destroying themselves. In Nigeria, for instance, you know the story where our wealth is taken out from the country and used it to develop other countries. How do you explain that? We don't like each other that much. That's just the bottom line. There will be a time in this forum we'll be talking about the principles that is not being applied. We do the opposite of the principles that has been set aside for everybody. It's not a matter of church or religion or whatever you, you think you believe in. It's those are the marked principles that has been set aside for you to grow. And Africans, blacks especially, don't practice it. It's unbelievable. I mean, somebody of the caliber of Will Smith, all right, is not, I mean, that was the least I expected from a guy I see as a gentleman. I understand the fight, it could be a little bit like emotional, I mean, but I'm sure it was scripted. I don't think Chris Rock just said it. I think it's something, I don't know, I'm just saying. But even, even, even that, you just went on stage because you think you're larger than life and caused the scene. How about if Rock had reacted and everybody started getting this, said, oh my goodness. <laughs> but that goes to tell you, I, I can bet you 110%. If it was a white MC or host that said the same thing, Will Smith would not stand up. He might have his grudges, he might have his pain, but he would do it in other ways. But because it was black on black, it was very easy for him. He thought he's larger than life, just went up there. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not justifying what Chris Rock did, 
But even at that, I'm sure there's a better way Will Smith will have reacted. And that goes to tell you that when it comes to black on black relationship, I, I would like to get your take on this. I really don't understand why we can't just get along the way we should and progress, really. And look at how we can improve ourselves. Black young folks here in America kill one another for sneakers. Somebody coming out with a brand new sneakers, maybe he's in the hood or something, and the next guy envies him, and it might not be sneaker, it could be like maybe he got a new job or he's trying to improve his life. Pow, 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 and the guy is dead. It's unbelievable how, and even in Nigeria back home, it's the same thing. And in Nigeria, it's peculiar because I'm from Nigeria and <laughs> It pits me why we have so much, but yet we lack at the same time. You would think whether it's a cost or something. To me, I think it's a choice because God cannot cause what he has blessed, right? If you believe in God, even if you don't, what it is, it is. He has created a country full of resources. It's left for us to figure it out. And we refuse to figure it out. Look for the easy way out, right? And only think about only yourself. And that is contrary to the principles I was talking about. If you want to succeed, you can't do it all by yourself. The world was not created for just one person. So you have to help others, which is a principle. You have to look out for it. That is the more reason, I mean, let's take it from Adam. Adam was lonely and of course, you know the story, you know, he was given a companion so that they can progress based on those principles, right? Nigerians, blacks all over the world are not doing those. They are rather doing the opposite. I will elaborate more on this when next we meet. But folks, I would like to get your take as well. What do you think about this slappy mania, as you call it? Starting from Bianca, is that a coincidence? Is it rubbing off or is it just a coincidence? But hey, it works for me because right now, he's allowing us to like ask the question, which major event will happen <laughs> that you will see another slappy mania? Da -da -da. <laughs> All right, folks, do unto others what you will want others to do to you. That's my number one. Talk to you soon.